recording? Yes. <laughs> it's better? It's better. Hey, what's up again, everybody? It's me, Felix, from HeyDon'tShoot.com, and we're here just north of Seoul in an area called Noan, and Turner and I are going to do some street photography today. We've got a variety of cameras. Well, I should say I have a variety of cameras. Turner brought his new FM2 Nikon, FM2, do you, do you say Nikon or Nikon? Nikon. Nikon? Everybody, how come everybody says Nikon? I think other countries say it differently. Yeah. Anyways, we'll say it's a Nikon FM2, uh, kind of a vintage film camera. I brought some vintage film cameras as well for street photography. I got this Rolleiflex SL35M. I also have a Minolta SRT201. And then I've got kind of a funky Frankenstein uh, concoction put together with my Sony a7 II digital camera with an adapter for the Hasselblad lenses. So I brought a Hasselblad 80 millimeter lens and we should get some good results for street photography today. So thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Let's go do some street photography. A must for film photographers, unless you have a metered camera. But even then, I think this is a lot more accurate than the metered cameras. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, it is more accurate. Is a, a light meter. So I've got the Minolta 4. I think it's called the Autometer 4F. And basically, what you do is you set your film ISO in here, and you can take a reading, and it'll give you the f-stop and the exposure. So here, this is saying I should be if I'm shooting at 120 of a second. I should be at f-stop 16, but it's kind of bright out here, so what I can do is I can bump up the, the time, so it's telling me at 1 500 I can shoot f-stop 4.0 with ISO 100 film, and that's what I've got in this Rolleiflex SL35M, so let's uh, set it at 1 500. And f-stop 4. Yep, alright, so got some good street photography opportunities over here. Do I look like a photo nerd? A little bit. That's the look, that's good, that's the look I'm going for. Can I take your picture? I just wrote a, uh, a blog post about, you know, street photography and asking people if, for permission to take their pictures. And what I thought with adults, you don't really want to stop and ask them because you lose that reality, that quality of that realism, that spur of the moment. But with kids, it doesn't matter. Kids are always going to be kids. They're always going to be smiling and laughing. So that's why I like to ask kids permission or if their parents are around, ask the parents for permission. Shutter? The shutter is loud, dude. Yeah, really let, me, is. let me get a shot of you and I'll do the shutter. All right, listen to this. <laughs> it's like clank. I like it, man. I love that sound. Well, if, if I would have known we were coming to the spot like that, I mean, I didn't know how colorful it was. I would have brought color film. I got black and white in here. Sometimes you want people in the shot, and sometimes you don't. I 
was a long time. So I just got the Nikon FM2 in the mail the other day. I've been waiting like probably a month for it to come here from Japan. Bought on eBay for about 160 bucks. And so far, this is an awesome camera. I can throw all my old D-Series lens that I have. Uh, I can throw those on there and shoot with all my favorite D-Series Nikon lenses, which is dope. I've got the 60 millimeter micro Nikkor, which is an all around awesome lens. Um, shoot some macro or I could just shoot street photography. Works very well. So, yeah. Look at that, I get a shot of that right there. That grassy, whatever. Soul, Buck Soul Museum of Art. Go to the art museum and have a coffee. Let us video in there. Let's go check it out. Yeah, it's hot as fuck. selling photographs that just take old furniture they either find on the street or at a flea market and destroy it and then put it on a wall yeah. mine's blown everybody that's trying to sell photographs you're doing it wrong that's how you do it right here All right, Felix, we're next. Well. We talk about the you want me to talk about the let's talk about what you got man the adapter okay yeah. what's on there that looks funky man it does look funky like people are gonna be like what is that i want to know okay I want one. so this is the sony a72 badass camera it's really it's a great camera a mirrorless camera and i found an adapter i guess i was just curious i don't remember if i knew or heard about it or not or someone told me but uh I did a search and found an adapter by this company called Kipon, Kipon, so that you can mount Hasselblad lenses to Sony E-mount. And the lenses are great. I mean, why not? You know, it's a, you'll see some of the sample pictures, really awesome shots. I mean, it is funny looking. Look how far away it is from the... Uh, take, take the lens off. I want to see what it looks like. Okay. I've never seen it like that. Okay. Here's the button right here. That looks like a lens itself, man. Uh, anyway, so here's your Hasselblad lens. This is a 80 millimeter Zeiss Planar T, which means it's got the coating, the special coating. Um, yeah, it fits right on there. It's got a little plate so you can attach it to a tripod. Uh, it's heavy, but this... So with the 80 millimeter Hasselblad lens with the adapter, of course, you get kind of a the sweet spot of the lens is what is captured so that's good um, but I really like it a lot so 
what I do is I shoot in full manual and you set your aperture on the lens and then everything else you set on the camera. Pretty cool. Yep. Sweet. Look what I got right here. Sweet. Oh man. The new new Nikon FM2. The 60 millimeter 2.8D. Look at that. All right, you uh, said you were gonna talk about. All right, it. we got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got our coffee. You said, we knew, you said when the coffee came, you're going to talk about your camera. <laughs> All right, so I got a Nikon FM2 35mm film camera in the mail. I ordered about like a month ago from uh, Japan on eBay. And I just shot my first roll of Ilford HP5, and I pushed it to 800, okay, box speed to 400. Explain to people who might not know, what does it mean to push it? Okay, so uh, with the light meter inside, I take say 400 speed film like the HP5 and I load it into the camera and I set my ISO for the light meter to 800, 1600, 3200 and I shoot it as that so it's underexposed and then when I get back and I mostly shoot black and white so I can develop myself and when I get back I develop it the times for whatever I shot it so if I shot it at 800 I'm going to develop it for 800 so and what does that do? Uh, I just did it for the first time one roll ago, I guess you would say, and it just was like like the tones and the contrast and the, the blacks and the shadows, it was just amazing. So, so I'm going to start experimenting it with it. It enhances? More. Yeah, yeah, it makes it look better to me. I like it. Uh, but there's nothing wrong with shooting box speed. I shot a lot of box speed. Yeah. Oh no, we haven't gone done that yet. That's that's after flag. Uh, like no one. You know, remember where no one was? Street street photography. It's like right where we jump over that. We went around and shot a few more photos, but it was just way too hot to enjoy ourselves. So we decided to pack it in for the morning. Besides, Turner had to get back to the base for his flag detail. The flag detail is a group of six or seven soldiers whose job it is to raise the flag in the morning and lower it in the afternoon. As soon as he was finished with his duty, I was going to pick him up, and then our plan was to head to a spot on the river near the DMZ that Turner had previously scouted and was wanting to shoot some long exposure pictures. Little did we know what kind of adventure was in store for us just trying to get to that spot and then having to get in the river to get the shots he wanted. As it turned out, all of our efforts led to only one decent shot, but that's how it goes with photography sometimes. Wow. 
out and touch it. Oh, I'm swimming? I might be, man. You can hang back with a zoom lens on. Need some, uh, what are they called? Waders. Fucking, uh, side is that what you're saying actually yeah take a left take a left here yeah we rode over there though find out got a lot of sun uh, there's a road looks like there's a cut there a road yep. yeah see yep. a car. car yep we're good so hopefully it goes all the way down to it i mean how are we gonna get down yeah. do you want to see where this road takes us though see where the road goes all the way over there maybe see if we could drop What's that? Six. Pack of smokes. Pack, pack of smokes. It's in the plastic bag. Just in case I fall in. <laughs> Change clothes. What are you stupid? You know what I'm saying? Like the sunlight. Dude, it's gonna be gone over that mountain. That's why I have to start shooting like right now. Yeah, but I'm saying, where do you want to set up? Like right there. Oh, it's by the way down. Okay, let's see. Get the rope right here. There's a ladder right here.
tripod. It all depends on what it's going to look like in about 15 minutes. So this is where we're setting up? Yeah. Okay. A big part of the fun of photography is that so much is unknown. Sometimes you'll go out and get lots of great shots without much effort. Other times you'll spend a lot of time and energy and not get any good photos. Today we shot a wide variety of pictures, both street and landscape photography. And even though Turner only got one decent shot from the river, it was still a great day of photography. We literally shot from sunrise to sunset and as always, we had a great time together. Thanks for watching. Please take a moment to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. You can also find us on the web at heydontshoot.com and on Facebook at facebook.com slash heydontshoot. Stay tuned for the next episode of Hey Don't Shoot when we take another shot. Holy shit, it's hot. Yeah, you ready yeah. to trade? No, I, I, don't, I don't have anything to talk about. Yeah, but I don't even know the side comments. I like taking pictures. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is fun. I don't know, but I'm bringing the uh, Sony Handycam for when we go landscaping. Oh yeah, is that heavy? Yeah, it's fucking heavy. Yeah, I was dying out there. You're in the AC <laughs> holding it. <laughs> Stopping everywhere. Well, see, I really like this. And dude, I'm out there fucking dying, man. Like sweating. Felix, shut up. Shut up. That's supposed to be a photo gallery. It's drawings. Oh, they meant art gallery. Poor translation. Dun 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 d
Is that the theme song? Jurassic Park? Yeah. yeah no. Oh, it is. <laughs> it sounds different in the movie. <laughs> Probably sounds better with a fucking orchestra, man. You know what you sound like? It's goddamn YouTube commenters. <laughs> Fuckers. <laughs> like, what the hell? What are you doing? Go home, dinosaur. Back to Costa Rica. I don't know how to make them porno. But I might be able to learn now that I've done gone digital. Mm-hmm. Ruining my meal. <laughs> wait, wait, did you want to talk about your FM too? Let's eat. Okay. I didn't talk about it. Yeah, you didn't talk about the lamps or anything? Wait till you get your coffee so you can sip on your coffee while you're talking about it. Uh, 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 <laughs> um. And action. Okay, what are we doing? I guess you're loading film. No, shit, it's going to be hard to do it like this. Uh, yeah. We'll do it any way you want. All right. You got all set up and shit. Time to drink my cafe and eat Felix's cake. And oh, that's my cake. Take a video. I know the struggle, man. I forgot I could take macro photos. I have the macro lens on there. Oh my! Look at this dude. Yeah, I just took a picture of him. What are you, some kind of homosexual? Don't put that in video. <laughs> well, I got shoot. We're making a video. We got shoot. We got shoot some video. <laughs> shot shooting video don't you hate that you can go get me some food there's enough in there Felix is not ready to get I know that's why I brought him up here yep that's why I'm here the kids were good the kids were really good I'm glad Elizabeth. I was afraid I could come home <laughs> Bad was dump out an entire bottle of perfectly good water. I didn't really like that. But other than that, they were good. My tooth came loose again. I, you're having such a hard time with that. I don't know what the problem is. Like, why? It's army doctors is the problem. I'm not fully going to that. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, I'm just CP Boogie. He ate so much of that soup. Yeah. Weird, huh? 